Question 2. In a restaurant, the colour of each dish shows how much the food in it costs. The table shows the different colours and costs. So green is £1.50, blue is £2, red is £2.50, orange is £3 and pink is £3.50. Mira pays for two blue dishes and two pink dishes. Altogether, how much did they cost? Well, a blue dish costs £2. So we have £2 and then another one, which is another £2. The pink dishes cost £3.50 each. So we have £3.50 and £3.50. Altogether, we would have to add these up. Now, you can add these together using column addition again. I would probably group together how much do the blue ones cost, so 2 and 2 would give us 4. £3.50 add £3.50 is £7. So altogether, 4 add 7 would give us £11. Part B says Victor pays for one green, one red and one pink dish. He pays with a £10 note. How much change should he get? Biggest mistake here is people forget to work out how much change he would get. So firstly, let's work out what the green, red and pink dishes would cost. Green is £1.50. Red was £2.50. And pink is £3.50. This time, I'm going to use column addition just to make sure that we don't miss off any of the pennies. This is a two mark question. So let's be really careful that we don't lose an easy mark. All the zeros have to give nothing. 5, 10, 15, so that's 5, and carry 1 into the next column. Decimal point stays in the same place. 1, add 2, add 3, add 1, will give us 7. So the total is £7.50. But he wants to know how much change you would get from a £10 note. So we have £10, and we're taking away £7.50. It's important that we count £10 as 10.00 to make sure that we are including any pennies. Zero take away nothing is nothing. Can't do zero take away five. We can't borrow from the zero, so let's borrow from the ten. That becomes nine, and this becomes ten take away five, which is five. Decimal point in the same place, 9 take away 7 is 2. So the answer for this question is £2.50. Part C, we still need to see the table, so I'm going to copy this across from the other page. So I've got this at the bottom. Rachel pays for two dishes that cost exactly £4.50 together. What colours could her dishes be? There are two possible answers. Write them both. So it's telling you there are two different combinations. So don't make sure that you're not choosing the same one and reversing it, because that'll still only show one combination and get you one mark. The easiest way to do this is go through with processes of elimination. One pound fifty at two pounds, it's three pound fifty. That's not it. One pound fifty at two pound fifty, that's four pounds. One pound fifty at three pounds is four pounds fifty. If you need to write out each of your calculations and the combinations, use the space at the bottom of the page. Either way, green and orange look like a combination that we can use. The thing that we should realise at this stage is that one of the values has to end in 50p and one has to end in zero so that we can get the 50 at the end. So that way we can't have blue and orange together, we can't have red and pink together. So that cuts down our combinations considerably. So if we look at the next possible combination, we have £2 add £2.50. Well, there we go, there's our next combination. Blue and red would add up to £4.50. To quickly run through why there are no more combinations, anything bigger than that £2.50 added onto blue would be too much. Red has to be added to blue, so anything beyond that would be too much. We already have orange and green. And so add on to £3.50, we'd have to have a £1 dish. So pink doesn't work. 